So, well, this is your first long move. How are you finding it here at Stoke City? Yeah, no, it's been good to be fair since I've joined. It's only been, I think it's three weeks tomorrow that I've been here, but no, it all happened quite quickly, to be fair. I was away in, in Austria with Southampton and then heard that Stoke were interested and, yeah, got it done as soon as possible. It's good to have familiar faces around you as well. Gavin Kilkenny and John O'Shea, how's that helped? Yeah, no, it's helped uh, a lot, to be fair. I think, obviously, having Gav here helped me settle in with the lads quite quickly and then the same with John to, to ask questions about the club and that, obviously, I know them both so well from 21, so I think it made the transition a lot easier than, than it could have been. And last, yeah, towards the end of last season, you were getting more Premier League minutes and you've now, this is your first loan. And what are your goals for this season at club level? Yeah, I think at club level is to obviously get as many minutes as I can, really. Something I haven't had for maybe a few years with injuries or whatever, but to get as many appearances as I can and hopefully yeah, start to get goals and assists, really. It's fair to say in the last international window, you made an impact. Um, were those some of your best performances in an Ireland shirt? Yeah, I think for sure. I think the window came at such a good time for me because I'd been fit for the end of the season at Southampton and played a few games here and there. But with Ireland, it gave me a chance to get back to back to back games. And I think, yeah, I took the chances quite well. And yeah, I would say they're probably my fondest memories in Ireland, shall I say. We've got two massive games as well in September. First time we ever reached, under 21s have reached their playoffs. For you, are those the type of games that you want to be playing in? Yeah, exactly that. I think like you said it's the exact type of games that we all want to be in I think we we're unlucky maybe well unlucky or whatever didn't finish a job off to get automatic but I think that shows a good side of the mentality of our team that you know we want to be pushing Italy all the way and I think we did and yeah the fact that we've got these two games coming off is obviously the games everyone wants to play in. You mentioned there the mentality of the squad what, what's, what's the difference with this group perhaps with you know other groups you've played in or what is the strength of this group? I think there's a real togetherness in this group. I think it's very much so that everyone looks forward to going away of Ireland and looks forward to going and playing the games. And I think once you create that bond and a winning bond together, I think it can't really be broken. And a big game coming up Friday, September 23rd against Israel. What's your message to the fans who are looking to come out there and watch the, the you know, a big playoff game? No, I think the fans, obviously, they could help us so much. I think to see a packed out Tala Stadium would be, would be unbelievable. And I think that could give us the, the extra edge maybe that we need to, to go through.